Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how can you run your Selenium web driver test in incognito mode? Let me answer this question followed by practical demonstration. So, what is incognito mode, first of all? If you open any browser, this is a normal mode of the browser, okay? The normal mode of the browser and if you open the application url in this browser this browser already has some cache uh, some cache to load the websites faster if you already have uh, for example earlier have loaded this amazon.com website okay these websites will load faster for the first time if you freshly or the first time if you freshly open this application in the browser it will take some time because no cache will be there but the second or third or fourth time onwards, these websites will open faster. Why? Because the browsers will store some cache related to these websites and they will be able to load the websites faster. Okay. That's one thing will happen. And also at the same time, these browsers will drop some cookies. Okay. To track the user information. Okay. What the user is doing on this particular application that user information, the browsers want to track like a... Uh, you see, based on the type of the products you are searching, the home page will display in your own format. Okay. All this depends on the cookies. And there are many other advantages of the cookies, like, you know, uh, cookies will understand your session information, like, uh, uh, for example, in coming to the Gmail or something, right? They'll remember your credit, uh, remember your login session and they'll maintain the login session happen and all those stuff. Okay. And also the browser history. In the browser, if you have, you know, uh, open these applications, right? Okay. The history will be maintained by the browser. Okay. All these things will be there in the browser that you are normally using. Okay. So there is a high possibility that this application has been opened earlier in your normal browser and uh, the cache of this applications and the cookies dropped by this application and uh, the history of this particular application being used. Okay. All this will be tracked by uh, tracked in the browser. But what if I want to freshly open this amazon.com website. Okay. So for that here, I'll click on this three dots in this Chrome browser and select new incognito window instead of normal window. I'll say new incognito window. It will open like this. Okay. We, you are, you are, you have gone incognito. Okay. Uh, no one can track your activity. Uh, it's kind of private, very secure. Okay. So a lot of other stuff, you, you, uh, Chrome won't save your browsing history. Like if even though you browse a website the, that you have browsed here will not be, no history will be there, okay, that you are, have browsed this, okay? No one will know that uh, this particular website you have browsed in your browser. Cookies and site data won't be there. No cookies will be dropped uh, for enhancing the user experience for the next time. As if the application has been opened for the first time, the application will open here in the incognito mode, no matter how many times you open the application in the incognito mode whatever the information you entered in the forms will be cached, okay? And uh, whenever you go to that uh, form page, right? Uh, the moment you type one letter, right? All the details will come automatically, right? That will not happen here. So whatever the website uh, you visit will not be visible to anyone, okay? Something, uh, cookies will not be dropped, block third party cookies, okay? So cookies will, will not be dropped down to you this. Okay. So if I open this amazon.com as if the amazon.com website has been opened for the first time, it will come here. You see, it's, uh, it's asking me, uh, to confirm this. Okay. You see for the new users, it may ask like this. Okay. Continue shopping. And, you know, you see now the website has come, you know, these notifications were not coming when I opened this amazon.com in the normal browser mode, instead of not incognito mode, you see. We are showing you items to ship to India. It doesn't know which country I belong to. Okay. If I, if I want to change this, I can change this. Okay. Dismiss. I can say for no, all this, you see, as if the application is opening for the first time, it will come. The products have not, uh, my preferences products are not there here. You see sign in options are coming. All those things, it will look brand new and brand fresh. Okay. As if you are opening this application for the first time, if your requirement is to automate the application. As if you are opening the application for the first time in the browser, in the normal browser, it may not be possible. So we have to run our automation scripts in the incognito mode so that, and if you don't want the cookies to be dropped and cache to be taken and the history to be tracked in your browsers, right? Then incognito mode is one of the best way. Okay. So 
so some reasons okay because of these reasons right people want to run your uh, run automation scripts without caching the data or without cookies getting dropped or without uh, your browser history being tracked and all okay how to do that how to run our automation scripts in incognito mode so let me show you practically guys let me launch uh, the eclipse id where i have this one of the selenium project created in that selenium project i'll show you how to uh, how to run uh, how to open the application in one of the browser in incognito mode okay so let me go to one of the location where I have a project. Let the Eclipse ID launch. And in the Eclipse ID, I'll go to one of the project where Selenium is already configured. So here I'll create uh, one package just for categorization purpose, like, you know, uh, interview question, right? Interview question. In interviews, they'll ask you this question in different ways, okay? That is one way is that uh, how can you run your automation scripts in incognito mode? Can you run? Okay. What is the advantage of running the automation scripts in incognito mode? What is the benefit? Like that many type of questions will come here. Whatever that is, I'm trying to answer here. I'll just say demo here. Uh, uh, in, uh, like main method, I'll say and write the code here. That is Chrome driver. Driver is equal to Chrome driver. Driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Chrome driver. Driver is equal to new Chrome driver. Then put a semicolon here, control shift O, then driver dot manage dot window dot maximize window dot maximize, then driver dot get provide the application page URL here. For example, Amazon.com only I'll give. Okay. Uh, if I run this script, right, this script will open in the normal browser mode. You see, it's not in incognito mode. This script will uh, launch the Chrome browser in normal mode, not in incognito mode. In a while, the script running or not, I don't know. Uh, let me run it again. Right click run as Java application. We'll open the Chrome browser, maximize the browser and open the application URL in the browser, but not, but in a normal mode. Okay. But in a normal mode. Okay. It's opening in a normal mode. What if I want to open this in the incognito mode for that Chrome options options is equal to new Chrome options. I need to create an object for the Chrome options class, import this Chrome options. Then here options dot add arguments okay this come and this method you call using the object reference of the chrome options here hyphen hyphen in cog nito you have to mention put a semicolon here and after doing this after adding the argument and setting the things for chrome options copy this options and paste it here now run this code right click run as java application you see this time incognito mode, this application has been opened in the incognito mode. You know the advantages already. Okay. Earlier without this, if some people forget to provide the options uh, as an argument in the Chrome driver constructor, Chrome options, options is called new Chrome options, options dot add arguments is called hyphen hyphen incognito. And these options you have to pass into the Chrome driver. Okay. So like this guys. Okay. So this is the script we have to write guys uh, for running your automation scripts in incognito mode. I'll copy this code and provide this. Uh, here in this, okay, as a code, okay, that you have to write for uh, running the scripts in incognito mode in browser, okay. In this example, in this, uh, as, as an example, I have taken Chrome browser. You can also try Firefox browser and other browsers that are supported by Selenium. So, hope guys, you got the answer for this question. So, that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.